And once again, we have a representative from the county of Sonoma. Ms. Sylvia Lemus is not here today, but Gilbert is here to provide us with information about COVID and the vaccines. Thank you, Gilbert, for making the time and being with us. What information do you have for us this week? Uh, well, thank you, Rafael, for having me here today. Um, yeah, we have some information for our community members today. Uh, our new daily cases per 100,000 residents is currently at 6.2. Um, and a big part of those numbers are being driven up via our unvaccinated population. Um, so we encourage uh, a lot of our individuals who are still unvaccinated to get uh, the vaccine. Because what we're currently seeing right now is that we have 27 people uh, with COVID-related symptoms in the hospital, um, as well as nine uh, for flu-related uh, symptoms. So uh, we are hoping that everyone can not only get, you know, really push for their COVID vaccine, but also to get their flu vaccine, um, because that is the best protection we have for these these types of viruses. Um, so, you know, as we know, the since the start of the pandemic, we've had 523 COVID-related deaths, and uh, it, it's an issue that we shouldn't be having so much anymore because we now have the vaccines for protection. So um, it's very important that people go get their vaccine. Um, if they have got their vaccine, for them to get their booster vaccine. Uh, for those who just need any type of vaccine, uh, you know, it, it's the right time. Everything's free, and uh, we're, it really benefits not just yourself, but your family and your community to get vaccinated. Definitely, unless we continue to get vaccinated, many individuals will continue to allow the virus to continue to change and evolve. And as a result of that, um, more lives will be lost. So a couple of weeks ago or last week, I shared the data among ethnic groups. Uh, Latinx are still one of the groups, uh, highest groups not vaccinated. And then in regards to the age groups, six months to two years or three years, I think, is the highest number of people not vaccinated. And then uh, teenagers uh, coming into adulthood is the other group not vaccinated in general within the community. And so what it seems like, at least within some groups, including the Latinx community, many individuals are still believing different lies that are being presented online and they are vaccinated because maybe their job requires them, to, requires them to be vaccinated, but they're not vaccinating the children. And so the parents may be protected, but they may be picking up the um, virus somewhere else and then bringing it home. So it's essential that we pay attention to this, the fact that we may be putting our kids at risk. And so there are vaccines, the vaccines are free, uh, can you tell us where people can go find out about locations and times and everything else? Yeah, of course. So you can still get your, there's there's still sites in Roseland and the Rona Park that still offer vaccines. They also offer boosters and testing still for those who require testing. Um, you can also go on to socoemergency.org or to myturn.ca.gov uh, to make an appointment. Um, as well as your local pharmacies uh, like CVS and Safeway, they also offer the vaccine, the boosters, and your flu shot at no cost. So uh, we're trying to make it as available as possible for individuals, and we hope that they can get out there to get vaccinated. And as a reminder, the best uh, three ways of making sure that you don't get COVID, one, get the vaccine, two, wash your hands on a regular basis, especially if you are out and about, and then three, wear your mask. Again, many individuals like myself, uh, we wear our mask. We walk into a store, we wear our mask. We go to a restaurant, we wear our mask until the food comes to us. And then after we eat, if we decide that we're gonna stay there and keep chit-chatting with people, uh, then I put my mask on. And this way we lower the amount of risk of infection. So we wanna make sure that our community is aware of this because it is essential. This is how you stay safe. Teach your children the benefits of, again, uh, washing their hands. And if they are in an area like a school where they are leaving the classroom um, and you know they don't have time to go and wash their hands, a little bit of hand sanitizer. That way we don't pick up germs here and there. And this helps with both things, including the mask, 
it helps with COVID, but it also helps with the flu. And the same thing with washing your hands, it helps with the flu. And what did we see before everybody took off their masks? The number of flu infections last year wasn't as high as this year is going to be because people were wearing masks, people were washing their hands, and people were keeping their distance. And so the more we are aware and we educate each other, the better everybody in the community is. So again, go to the website, get more information, uh, because there's plenty of information. And again, while the vaccine is free here, in other parts of the world, people still haven't gotten a chance to get their first shot. What other information do you have for us? Yeah. Um, we also want to remind people that uh, tomorrow at 3.30, we'll be having a webinar um, that will go over safety communications. Um, it's really going to focus a lot on when the public should call 911 or call 211 because they're both very important phone lines in the county, um, but they offer two very different resources. Uh, I think most of us know 911 is an emergency only type of uh, phone line, um, but you know we also have the 211 line, and the 211 line offers a lot of resources, um, and we'll be going over a lot of that in detail tomorrow, um, again at 3:30, and uh, it'll be in English on our Facebook channel and in Spanish interpretation on our YouTube channel. And then we don't want any information to get lost uh, throughout that. So there will be an all Spanish broadcast on Monday. Um, it'll be posted to our Facebook channel. And then uh, lastly, uh, voting centers are open. Uh, there's currently 31 voting centers open throughout the county and they're open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, and then on election day, November 8th, uh, the centers will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, and at all these sites, uh, those who need help with Spanish, uh, there will be Spanish assistance on every at every site and location. So we really want people to come out and vote. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the best things that you can do if you want to see any type of changes or whatever you'd like. You know, voting is, is it's a fundamental right that I think a lot of people don't realize how lucky we are to have. So please go out and vote. So this is just a reminder that if you can vote, you should vote. Um, and what we keep telling people is California is its own unique country. And the reason is that California has access to the ocean. We have Mexico and we share uh, our space with other states. It's different from any other state in the nation, really, because a lot of benefits have been provided and have been earned and have been fought for for our undocumented community, whether it is a college education, driver license, and medical are just examples of this. And as a result of that, our undocumented community has given to the state. They pay billions of dollars in taxes, and I could go on and on. If you are interested in protecting the interests of the community, this time when you vote in the midterms, often people just ignore the midterms because they say nothing is gonna change. In California, there is this conflict that people are really not talking about and we need to become aware of it. There are many attempts to remove members of the assembly, the state senate, and obviously the governor. And the intent here is to go backwards and eliminate driver license for undocumented immigrants. Why would we want driver license for undocumented immigrants? Because then they can get insurance. And if they have a car accident, their insurance will take care of your vehicle. Simple as that, right? Maybe you don't want to do it for them, but you want to do it for yourself. And as a result of that, we invite you to check out SRJC Mecha, that is SRJC M E org, And this is an organization in Sonoma County that advocates for equity led by students. And as a result of uh, their work in their website, you just go to their website, srjcmecha.org, you will be able to immediately find a list of endorsements from the governorship all the way to propositions and local measures for the county of Sonoma County. And so you're invited to check that out. And again, as some people have said many times before me, vote as if your life depended on it. 
because depending on who selected this round will affect your life and the lives of many individuals. So Gilbert, I wanna thank you for taking the time, coming over and sharing with us information about COVID, about the elections and just information about this upcoming event on 211 and 911. And I hope that people will participate. And I look forward to having another conversation with you in the very near future. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me on. Hope everyone has a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.